Good day, McVeigh, and happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Let's get to our birthday book for today. Today is Australia Day. Remember, we learned that it's our first culture day, too. Happy birthday today to Cameron Connors in our fourth grade and Ethan Yu. I'm sorry, Caleb Yu in our second grade. Ethan is Caleb's middle name. Our lunch for today is pizzeria style cheese pizza, boar's head turkey and cheese, bagel, or grilled cheese lunch. Now, today is Australia Day, and we're learning about that continent. Now, that continent could also be considered Oceania. Oceania is several countries in that general region of the world, and one of the uh, countries in that area, Oceania, is Fiji. And so today, we're going to be learning about the flag of Fiji, in addition to some fun facts about Australia. But did you know that there are more sheep than humans in Australia? How about this cool fun fact? Did you know that there are more camels in Australia than in Egypt? True. Now remember what we talked about. Australia was uh, has a very, very dry area in the center of the country. Uh, and it's very, very large. So it would make sense that there would be a lot of wildlife in that area. And certainly camels if it's very dry. How about this? The box jellyfish, now that's a certain kind of jellyfish only found in that part of the world uh, near the Great Barrier Reef, which we learned about, uh, is actually more dangerous to humans than snakes, sharks, and crocodiles combined. It's true. You don't really see movies about uh, the box jellyfish, but anyhow. All right. Now, our flag today, take a look, see if you recognize anything. Hmm. If you said this, you're right. What does that mean? What do we know about that? What did we learn from Australia that we can apply to this flag? Yeah, so this is a symbol, the Union Jack from Great Britain, which really uh, honors the close connection that Fiji had with Great Britain many, many years ago. So in 1970, it's about a little more than 50 years ago, they, um, the flag of Fiji was changed. And so now it only has a part of it that indicates Great Britain because they're, now they're independent from Great Britain. And this blue is all about the Pacific Ocean because they're an island in the Pacific Ocean. And then there's this emblem here, sort of a coat of arms. And the, what you can see there are four pictures. And really that's about the agriculture or the products of Fiji, including sugarcane, bananas, cocoa. Um, and finally, there's a dove there which symbolizes peace because they're a very peaceful nation. There's also, oh, the dove has a, co uh, has a coconut palm as well. So super cool. So now that we know something about one country, we can apply it to another country and keep learning. Now, our Get Smart project for today is C. Lamprey. And that is from Michaela, Ashley, Manpreet, Tyler, and Miley. 
Sea lamprey are uh, sort of eel-like creatures, sort of spiny and a little bit slimy creatures that are found in the ocean. And of course, they've done a beautiful job illustrating. You can see it's kind of what it looks like. Uh, so they are located in uh, the waters off North America, but they're deep sea swimmers. Let's see what other cool facts we have here. They live in the ocean. Uh, they have uh, over 100 teeth. That's true. And they tried to draw lots of teeth there for you to see. Hmm. Uh, and um, so they... Uh, they sort of multiply a little bit differently than other animals, but they're not really something that we would definitely see. Uh, but again, it's super cool that we're learning about things in our world that we didn't know about before. All right. Now, moving right along. So we, uh, our culture studies are coming along awesome. So this was our clue the other day, and it was, I love walking my dog every day after school. In the summer, I enjoy going to Fire Island with my family, and I love teaching writing and science. Who am I? Mrs. Glazer. If you say Mrs. Glazer, you're right. So now, today, we have another one. Who am I? Take a look. Here are the clues. I went to Woodland and East Meadow High School. My daughter is studying to become a nurse. My favorite thing to do on the weekends is to watch my son play the cross. And fun fact, guess what? I was a lacrosse goalie too. Hmm, who is this? And you'll notice we have some new flags here. Uh, so this one, uh, we've, dis we've discussed the flag of Italy. Obviously that's the USA jersey, but what flag is that? Does anybody know? So this person did not give us that. Let's see if anybody can figure that out. And finally, we have our mighty, con oh, get some getting smart through art. Let me not forget that. We have one by Scarlet. Happy Valentine's Day. It's beautiful, Scarlet. Some uh, beautiful hearts by Rhea. Love that tree, Rhea. And uh, some Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um... I think this is by Melanie in room 106. Very cool writing. All right. So now we're coming to our mighty kind moment of the day. We're going to get our drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, boys and girls. So some of you have been, during our indoor lunch, making some cards. I have some beautiful cards here. Super mighty kind. What I want to say is how incredibly beautiful these cards are coming out. Uh, one of the McVeigh students, a friend of ours who's in the fifth grade, his name is Rajab, uh, has been very sick, and we need to bring him some cheer. Now, he's not sick from COVID. This is something that he's had for a very long time, and he's really trying hard to get well. Uh, but when he's in the hospital right now, we would like to cheer him up. So when we go to Cafeteria A during lunch, we're going to be making him some cards. And what I'm so excited about is how much time and effort and all the hard work you put into these cards. Now, if you'd like to make a card on your own, you certainly can. Again, our friend is Rajab, and that's R-I-J-A-B, uh, because he would love to hear from us. All right. Why? Because we're mighty minds. Not only that, we're mighty kind, mighty minds. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.